fit our car. Just get us out of here. Mom, are we lost? We're not lost. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Mother got her head blown off coming in here ever since then. You should try out for the tournament. I don't do this for fun. We saw nothing, and we got no murder weapon. Well, the victims killed somebody and got away with it. Oh, come on. Revenge killings? Get him! I'm getting a second chance because of him. Get in the bar! Joe! I'm not going to help you arrest this guy. I remember when the city was safe. It used to be a place where you could start a family, raise some kids, but it's now it's like a virus, whipping out every family in its path. I'm sick of the crime, the crime lords, and I'm sick of the games. I'm sick of being afraid, and I'm sick of watching everyone hide in their homes. Homes that worked all their lives to pay for them. Tonight, I'm taking the city back, and there's nothing that will stop me. Nothing's gonna get in my way. Nothing. You're going too big. You're going too strong. Nothing. I tell you, nothing. I'm just gonna go in there and bring the city back to what I want. I'm Monica Sanchez and I'm joined by hosts Joan Marie, Yazi Gallegos, and Joel Valley. This week we are reviewing Boy Wonder, which came out in 2010. So, the synopsis of the story is Sean, a young boy from Brooklyn, witnesses the brutal murder of his mother and then grows up obsessed with trying to find the killer. So, um, this leads him to having a life of being a quiet, straight-A student by day and a self-appointed killer by night. Mm -hmm. I know, but what is a real hero? And who decides what is right and what is wrong? Um, eventually, Sean's dual life starts wearing on his psyche, and both of these worlds that he's trying to live in start to collide. And throughout this whole movie, you just see this happening, and it comes to this really great, great conclusion, but it does have a lot of questions of morality and um, really just kind of questions the difference between what, what is right and what is justified. Um, the runtime is 93 minutes. It is directed by Michael Morrissey and written by Michael Morrissey. It is rated R, mostly for violence. Did I leave anything out? Oh, it stars. <laughs> She's, getting it a, stars. She's giving you everything right now, <laughs> right now. so you yeah. know what you're getting into it's so, like IMDb, when you see this movie. Like right here. <laughs> so this movie, okay, so Sean, the star of this movie, is played by Caleb Steinmeier, and, it, and, and is also joined... You're making us look bad. Here, yeah, yeah, I'm like... Mm. He's joined by... Um, uh, Zule Hanau and also Bill Sage. So uh, I'll start with ladies first. Joan. Well, thank you. This is definitely it's a very dark movie. I mean, this is um, this is not like for all ages. This is something that definitely like it's adult themed and it's for adults only. I think I think honestly it's eighteen and up for me. Um, this is. I don't even know if I, I mean, it's it's a good movie. So, I mean, it's just like a good popcorn ball. But at the same time, like, I wasn't even eating anything. Like, I was just so engrossed into this yeah. movie. Yeah. It it really just pulls you in because of the content. I mean, it's so serious. It's such a, I don't know. Like, I was, even, like, afterwards, I was really just, like, thinking about that. Like, trying to see, like, I don't know, after a movie, like, I you know, I sometimes can get really into him thinking, like, well, what if I was that character? Right. And just trying to think, like, well, what would I do in this position? So I was really into it, because during the whole time, like, 
I was just like, I, I don't know. Like, my heart, like, went out with him, and I was just, I don't know. It was it was a really good thriller movie. It's a so really good movie. It, right? she, yes. Oh, no, I, I liked, liked it. it. Yes, I liked yeah. the movie. But it was just definitely, it's, we don't really um, review too many movies that get really dark and mm-hmm. that are really, yeah, like, deep. that are actually like, thrillers like this. So for me, it was, like, it was good. I liked it. I just don't watch movies like this very often. But it was Average Size Bowl of Popcorn, not a date movie. This is, like, a movie, like, um, you're with your friends or... You're just you're home alone, but it's it's a worthwhile movie that you should watch. Mm-hmm. This is this is a must. Put it in your instant queue. All right. Oh. Okay. This is what I think. Okay. I feel like this is why we do this show, this movie right here, because um, there's so much stuff on Netflix, and there's a lot of bad stuff. There's a lot of good stuff too, but then there's like these movies, these gems that. I don't know where this went under the radar. I didn't hear about it in the theaters. Yeah, I didn't hear about this movie. And this movie is awesome. Like, I'm serious. you got to watch this movie. It Every shot of this movie looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, not every shot, but close to every shot. Like, 98% of this movie it's dark. It's is uh, looking at it uh, again as yeah, a filmmaker. A technical guy. It looks beautiful. It's shot beautiful. It looks beautiful. The story is great. Oh, the yeah. ending's great. The acting, there's just a, some acting uh, things that I would like. It looked was weird, but um, and then some editing choice. Like there's a Bjork song that just oh. pops up in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of weird. But man, but put those little things aside. This movie is it is awesome. It is so good. I had such a good time watching this. Like I was from the beginning that I put it on the first frame. I was like, wow, that looks really good. And that was it. And then the movie was over. I was like. What just happened? Like, mm-hmm. I, like mm-hmm. and that's why I feel like we do this movie so we can say, listen, this is one you should watch. Like, Definitely. if you like what, like my, if you my opinions and like what I see and you you'd like that, then this is what I say. Watch it. It's a really good movie. So. So you liked it. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, I had no, no expectations going in. Maybe a little lower. Um, going in, but I absolutely was stunned. So pleasantly surprised. It's so refreshing to finally see some writing and some shooting and mm-hmm. just just even a story plot that's so captivating and thought provoking. Like you said, you know, you're thinking about it after you watch it and, you know, it does question some lines of morality and justice. And I and I just don't think that um, I think sometimes movies are just made so fast and it, you know, let's yeah. put whatever kind of writing in it. There was there was a lot of originality. It to was. This, this it was, was something that hasn't this hasn't been or at least it hasn't been done to this quality. Not that to I've this ever quality. Seen. No, I totally I mean I think there's other movies that could questionably like be I don't know, that they could be similar to this, but this was executed perfectly. Yeah. For a vigilante justice, like you said, it's very original you, for vigilante yeah, justice. And you make and, a good point. Let me just start yeah, no, you. But ahead. I think that like Maybe the reason why we didn't hear about this movie is because you had movies like Kick yeah. Ass, you had uh, yeah. Super, you had all these movies kind of coming that out with the same thing. And so you budget. think, oh, this vigilante is going after the bad guys. It's not that it's though. Not, it, it's yeah. so much. It's so much more than oh, that. So sorry, go ahead. No, that's okay. So with that, uh, Joan, what would you like to rate this? Five stars. But I you love the movie, then. Right? I yeah. I really enjoyed it. Five love. stars, huh? Love. Five stars for me. You you've got to not only watch this, you have to own this. This is a movie that I would put, I mean, I don't own a lot of movies, but this is one that I would definitely, I would highly recommend to purchase, to have in your collection. It's a worthwhile, like, mm-hmm. I would lend to friends so that they need to watch this. Mm-hmm. I will give it five stars as well, which is crazy, you know? I mean, it, and it's not a perfect movie, but I think I give five stars to, like, things I would own because this is a movie you go, oh, you've never heard of. Uh, Wonder, is it Boy, Boy Wonder? Wonder. <laughs> yeah, I almost said Wonder Boy, right? Like, you never heard of Boy Wonder? You gotta watch this and give it to them and let them see it. And because I don't know anyone who's seen this movie. I don't either. You know, no. and I mean, I know that it did some Comic Con uh, uh, New York and it did some other places, but I don't know. I never seen it come to our town, so it was awesome to watch it. Five stars. Five stars for Joel. Five stars for Joan. Five stars for Monica. I I I cannot like urge you enough and just say I insist that you watch this. It's good quality. Um, for the stuff that is wrong with it, the rest of it will forgive you know, yeah. the flaws. It really will. You'll enjoy it. You can't go wrong. Trust us. Um, so We're the professionals. Yeah, <laughs> they're the professionals. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll Bye. see you then.